U.S. forces have been involved in Operation Enduring Freedom since its start 11 years ago. That's plenty of time to build infrastructure, nice roads, buildings, and some pretty nice chow halls in the process. But what about those guys that are out in the field? Well, there's the MRE. Trusted for decades, but little is actually known about what goes on in this little brown plastic bag. But I'm going to break that down for you right now. The history of soldier rations goes all the way back to the Revolutionary War. But the modern Meals Ready to Eat, or MRE's, development began in 1963 and went through several changes before making it to the meal we know today. Each meal is convenient, portable, and packs roughly 1,200 calories with the necessary nutrients to keep troops in the field on the move. Sergeant Jacqueline Ward from New Cobble Compound's Battalion Aid Station says that getting food nutrition while service members are outside the wire is just as important as when they're on camp. Soldiers in the field need something that's going to provide them with enough calories and enough energy to help get them through the day. Um, MREs provide a balanced level of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats that will allow them to maintain enough energy to get them through the day and accomplish the mission. Whether in training or in real-world situations, most service members have at least eaten an MRE once, and surprisingly, some can even name their favorite meal ready to eat. It's spaghetti and meatball. Definitely not this one. My favorite MRE is cheese tortellini. Anyone that has candy in it. Packing requirements for the MRE are strict. They have to withstand parachute drops of over 1,200 feet, and shelf life must be a minimum of three and a half years. And the price of an MRE? $7.25. Money well spent if you're hungry and in a far out combat environment. While nothing can raise morale quite like a hot meal in a dining facility, the MRE has grown to be a staple in the military, especially in the austere conditions faced by those outside the wire. Senior Airman Cameron Curry, Kabul, Afghanistan.